Hey everyone, welcome back to Lift Rain Tool On. My name is Brent, and today we are going to review the Best Arc multi process welder. Now, this is a super affordable welder, and the fact that it does MIG, TIG, and ARC, and on the MIG side, it does gas shielded and it does flux cord shielded. And with all of that being said, this comes in a really nice package, and the price is astronomically low. Yes, you're actually getting a huge amount of value for what this is. I'm going to unbox this. We're going to go through it and I'm going to see as a DIY, is this something that's actually worth it? Now, let's go ahead and get through it. This is what you expect. This is shrink wrapped really well. And then look at this, we have the welder and it's coming right out. And that's it, that's everything in the box. As you can see, we're just gonna drop that right in the floor. Let's take a quick look at this. Now look at that, look how small this thing is, huh? Look at that. I can hold it at arm's length just like this, no problem at all. Oh, not too shabby if I say so myself. And I believe this is a 145 amp, so it should be able to do a lot. Considering that's a multi-process welder, I would consider it being able to do a lot. So let's open up this box here to see what's in this box. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be our grounding wire. Now, by no means am I a professional welder. I've done a lot of welding. I worked in steam plants and uh, boiler plants and part of my training when I went through engineering school is doing this and I've been welding for 20 years uh, in plants, pipes, plates, other things and that's just part of the job but it hasn't been my job so I will say that it's something that has always just came part of the territory and then this is your arc clamp right here. So if you're gonna do arc, then you already have this. Now that it is a TIG, you do not have the actual TIG that comes with this. You're gonna to have to go ahead and buy that separate. Now, you do have a bearing in here, and then you have a couple nozzles for different sizes, because you do burn up the tips, and these are the welding tips that go right here. Now straight out of the box, I'm gonna weld with this as it is, so you know what to expect if you do make your purchase. And I think this is only like $130, and I will say this, you will not find another multi-process welder ever in your life for $30, at least right now, especially with inflation, you're, you're never gonna find that. So this is your flux core wire. Let's go ahead and take this open here and just take a quick look at that. If you can see that, pretty good stuff. Let's pull in the camera just a little bit. Now just make sure you can see that. So your wire is going to go right here and it's actually held together right there. So let's just take apart this. All right, you can see where that's at. We'll need a pair of pliers for that. And, and I do this a little bit different than other people, but how this works is your wire is gonna go through here and it may be hard to see, but there is a wheel right there where this goes through. And let's just see if we can't keep this here. Just open this up. That's gonna go out. So we're gonna be able to go through. This is your feed right here. So we will plug this up. Okay, so it's turning, it's gonna feed. We're gonna to continue to hold it. And it should come right out the end. Okay, let's see. And there it is right there, check that out. And I always cut it off. I always cut it off right about here. Right there. All right, let's head over to the welding table. This thing's already set up, this is awesome. We'll start easy. 
That's as low as it can go, actually, is 50. Then we'll kick it up to 55. Why not, right? Oh, much better. Let's clean it off. Now, flux core, the big thing about it is is that it has flux around it, so you can weld dirty stuff. You can do a lot. And uh, it makes it great because you don't have to have, you know, the uh, traditional gas and all that other stuff that you need with it. Hey, that's actually not that bad at all. Wow. All right. Here, take a look at this. It's not bad. I didn't have enough heat the first time, but to see right through here. See, it's a nice little bead. Wow, that is not that bad. Pretty good example here. I'm just gonna throw a bead right down through there. Check out that weld right there. Check that out. You see that? Huh? Look how good that is. Beautiful bead. Beautiful. Look at that penetration. Oh yeah. I mean the heat laid it in there. Did its job. Yeah. It's cooking it on the back side. You know, it went through. All right, let's do, I actually need to make a real repair here. All right, so I dropped this to 65. Uh, let's just see. I don't know if I got a good ground. I'm hoping I can get a ground right here. This is the base metal. I'm gonna hold it as much as possible here. This is tough stuff, man. Buddy, look right there. Looks good. Got this side. Super strong again. Okay, so now I'm curious. Uh, I just want to strike a bead through here now that I've got a couple passes under my belt. Wow, look at this. Look, look at that right there. Look at that weld, look how good that did. I mean, it's penetrated all the way through the back. You can see through here. Just look how good that looks. Check this thing out, it was able to weld this really thick steel, the settings are so intuitive, they're so easy, it's a multi-process welder. It's super cheap and the performance is unparalleled for the price. So the performance per dollar, you're not going to get any better than that. It's like $135, $150. So what I would suggest, you know, something so light, so portable, so powerful as well. And it goes all the way down. Now, if I had gas, uh, and I hooked it up to gas. You can do more delicate things too. Get a smaller like 0.026 wire. You can do uh, exhaust piping. You can do smaller projects like that. But if you're on a farm, you need to weld up some fencing. You need to repair parts on your tractor. You need to do 
little gardening rakes like I just did, this is where it's at in flux core. You're not going to worry about wind as much or any of the other sensitive situations. Cut through the rust, get into that thick steel. You're going to be able to do whatever you need to do. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I hope that it demonstrated the cool quality about this really best arc multi-process welder. If you did like it, please hit that like button down below. If you want to learn some more, go down to the description. I do have a special promotion that you're going to get a discount again i don't get any money for this so it doesn't really affect me if you don't buy it i'm just here trying to show you something new and great value bang for your buck i hope everyone gets out there goes try something new make your mistakes as well learn from your mistakes pass on the solutions to the next generation and we will all be better for it at the end of the day and until next time my name is brent this has been live free and tool on take care <laughs>